Hello, I am Dr. Gunjan. I'm working as a consultant in the Department of Pediatrics and Neonatology at Cloud Nine Hospital, Patpar Kanj Unit. Once started, especially if the baby is like more than 35 weeks of gestational age, once started, phototherapy should be continued till the total serum vulnerable level gets less than 12 to 13 milligram per deciliter. And if the baby is like less than 35 weeks of gestational age, whatever is the phototherapy threshold level, so from there, the level should be at least two to four milligram per deciliter below the phototherapy threshold level to basically discontinue the phototherapy. So, what are the side effects of phototherapy? First of all, what can happen? There is a bleaching of the skin, which is called bronze baby syndrome. But this is not a permanent thing. Your baby will grow out of this problem in a week or so. Second thing, what can happen is that overheating can be there because of phototherapy. And sometimes even baby can land in hypothermia because your baby has to be exposed while giving phototherapy. I would say there can be some transient rashes. There can be transient increase frequency in loose stools, which is again a temporary thing. It has to get corrected on its own. Then some baby gets really fussy and irritable and there is excessive cry, especially during first few hours after initiation of phototherapy. And there can be like jittery because of hypocalcemia associated with phototherapy. So these all are mostly temporary issues. And then there is one more concern regarding phototherapy that it might damage retina if the eyes are not covered adequately. Although there are only animal studies which supports this thing that retina can be damaged with phototherapy. So we always cover the eyes, we always cover the genitals. Again, there is a tentative risk that gonads can be damaged with phototherapy, although it has not been proven. So we always cover the gonadal area and eye area so that this doesn't get damaged.